so if you're wondering what we're doing today we are going mushroom hunting so we hope that we find some so i have my bucket my special mushroom knife and the forest hopefully we find some edible mushrooms today we're excited because we just found the first mushrooms so i saw this one which is a bit sad but they hide so these are tiny edible mushrooms that we can pick can you get the um can you cut it so they do hide like i mean if you're walking that's all you can see but yeah these are all these are good they will get bigger these are little baby ones there's your little mushroom knife yeah this is an opinel french mushroom knife just because it's fun <laughs> you don't need this knife obviously and then you just cut it at the base like this yeah cut the little stick and then that's it oh, oh my god first mushroom of the season brush it up. you use your little brush and you get the little sticks off here you can get those twigs off here, let me get up I'm stuck Ugh. yeah try to get off the little spiders and stuff it's just a bit wet so yeah things are sticking oh to my it. god this is exciting wow I'll talk more about identification and stuff later but I'm so excited okay Okay. First baby mushrooms of the season. They're so cute. And they're good because they're not dirty and stuff because they're fresh. Fresh ones. Sometimes when they get like old, they get a bit bug eaten, but these are super, super fresh. There's nothing in the gills. So we'll probably put some gloves on because they do stay in your hands orange. Oh, that see that not one's not great because mm. it was already broken off I think by something someone's kicked it or something might leave that one and we'll get it on the way back if we get desperate two mushrooms cool. <gasps> oh my god a huge one a huge one yes babe <laughs> yes please wow that one is massive hopefully it's good underneath they're not fresh there's they little, can be little, little ones next to it oh the little oh, one yes how cute there's two that's cool okay. oh, oh it's fresh it's fresh it's not chewed it's beautiful it's huge yeah. That's what you really want. These are these are nice. They're they're nice and fresh, but that's a good size there. That's pretty big. Should I get this one too? This yeah, I one. think so. That's a great find. Yay! Oh, this beautiful. One's got a bit of. Ah, it's still good, I think. Yay! So they are here. Mm. You just never know, honestly. Like I could. I yeah, you wouldn't that. think that they'd be in all this grass, but then they're there. So cool. Do you see it? You can harvest it. It's a bigger one, yeah. Ooh. Oh, that's a beauty. That's a good one. That's a great one. Oh. Yes. Get the dust out and then. Oh, there's this little slug on it. Just get it off. That's a cracker. <laughs> it's a good size. Yeah. And fresh too. Mm. Yay, this is fun. It's so much more fun when you come and you find stuff. <laughs> the last two or three times they've come, we haven't found anything. Admittedly, we came in the wrong season, just hoping. But the right season. So this is April the 7th, I think. So autumn basically and it rained in the last week there you go. so i just found another one i wanted to show you guys so this is sort of what you're looking for you want some pine needles on the ground with some moisture you want the trees to be about at least a foot uh, in diameter or what 
30 centimeters at least and I found that's where I found them before and what you'll normally see if you see a bigger one is something like this so this is a little bit of a bigger one so they're quite noticeable so that's my bucket those are those little ones that we found before and that's a bigger one so you know you will see them if you're kind of like looking you'll see that so I'll just get it out I'll try to do it with one hand we'll see how we go And a hot tip is to wear these beautiful gloves because they stain your fingers orange. So let's see. Yes. Wow. So cool. And these are super clean and fresh. So they've just come up. You just wipe these off with a paper towel or something to get that dirt off the top. But as long as the gills are clean, no insects, good to go. Mariam spotted the mother load a huge one and it looks beautiful too wow that's amazing <gasps> that's a big one you look for these little like there's a sort of a hole here and that's where the water collects so it's a bit been a bit damper than the surrounding area <gasps> oh, oh I just broke it my gosh that would have been a nice way to yeah. squish it that's okay wow oh my god that's beautiful look at that wow friends okay that is an example of a pristine perfect specimen so here i can sort of do a bit of identification talk so i have to get all the right names but you want it's got like a hollow stem it has an orange like a sap that's why it's called a saffron milk cap so the milk is like a saffron orange color and it has those white little call them dots on the stem hollow stem has the curled over cap and it's orange and when you flip it over it has that divot there is a look-alike but I don't think the look-alike has a divot like that and it has those rings and the little circles on the top so it's pretty easy to identify it doesn't really have many look-alikes I think there's only one and it's pretty different so they're very safe to collect That is just gorge. I love it. Found a good cluster here. But the, you know, you can see how they're really hard to see. Like these are almost hidden this one's by hidden. the grass. There's one here too. Look how hidden this one is. Yeah. Where is it? Oh, there. <laughs> you couldn't even see it, hey? Awesome. I'm going to dehydrate any excess that we find today. This was in the grass. I know, I know. I didn't th I thought they grew more where the pine needles are, but I guess not. I guess they grow wherever. This is a good harvest, hey? Yeah, this is great. Yeah, this one has poos on it. Uh, no, we don't want that one. <laughs> we can afford to be a bit picky today because we've found plenty. Is that good enough? Mm hmm. dirt and stick someone. Maybe just the closed one. That other one looks a bit old. The open cap. Mm. It's cute how they grow in like a little cluster. Mm. Still pretty fresh. Mm. Mm. Cut a bit close to that one. No, it's alright. So we're just leaving these smaller ones for other people to find, or for them to get a bit bigger. We don't need those tiny, tiny ones. So I wanted to show you an example of like what an older one versus a fresh one looks like. So if you can, you reach that. So when the cap is kind of more like an umbrella, more spread out, and the stem is really fat. You can see that this is sort of like it's a different shape like a tr like, yeah you can still eat it totally like if we weren't getting such a good haul i'd probably eat this one but 
we can afford to be picky. So, I mean, this one's got more like a, a umbrella type of a shape and a bigger, thicker stem. And usually that just means you see the discoloration in the gills, things like that. They're just not as fresh. But um, this one here, I think is a bit fresher and the one over there, so we can compare. Well, these are all a bit this one's a mature, bit well. yeah. But they're bigger, but this one's not too bad. That one's, Doesn't yeah, so you want the gills to be clear. So you can see, there you can see that's an older one and that's a fresher one. So we can keep this one, but I won't keep this one. There's another one there. And there's another one hiding. See how hid, well hidden they are. I know. And there's also another one here. You can barely even see that one. It's kind of small, but still good. That one's still good. This one's pretty well hidden as well. That one looks like another old one. Mm. Yeah. Nah. So see how it's all yucky in the gills? No. Nah. There's another older one over there yeah, if you want to show. There's another one over there. An example. Well, there's quite a few around here. Oh, look at that one. That's definitely an older one. <laughs> wow, this is a huge one. Looks like some animal. Oh my gosh, look at this monster, babe. This was massive. So you can see it's older, but it's huge. Try not to trip over and get stabbed by sticks and things. So you can see, like, it's oh, yeah. Looks like a newer one, but then you can see that one there. Yeah. So that's a fully mature one. We won't even disturb that. We'll let it drop its spores so that it can create more mycelium, grow more mushrooms. This one's not bad. Cool. I can see lots of little ones. I know. Around. We Wow. There's so many. This is awesome. We'll probably take a bucket home and, that, and then we'll stop. Mm. Oh no, chewed. Yeah. This one? They're pretty well hidden. Mm. That one's all right. Yeah. yeah. Pretty much just look for the gills to be clean and n not to have any poo on it. <laughs> so this is... Every hmm? time I like step Every away. time you I know. Cool. So I'm just showing them what um kind of environment it is. So like the road is actually just over there. And again the trees are about at least 30 centimeters wide. There are a few native mi mixed in, like these things here. So but even so where there's not even a pine, we're still finding the mushroom so it's not like you have to look right at the base like the mycelium travels under the ground and they come up the fruiting bodies come up anywhere randomly so it's as long as it's the right season it's kind of anywhere around you have to move the grass out of the like. way yeah they are growing under this long grass cool check out this crazy skull that we just found yeah, hold it in front of your face I've got gloves on, so it's okay. Oh, God. <laughs> Is it a rabbit? Put it up more. Oh. <laughs> Creepy. We're in, by the way, we're in Belangolo, which is where a serial killer? Yeah. yeah, a serial killer hid multiple bodies in this forest. So it is a little bit creepy. But anyway, it's another story for another day. So we found this mushroom and it is orange, but it's kind of a bit of a lookalike on the top, but it's nothing the same when you cut it open. I think this is a puffball, which is solid all the way through. Mm, yeah. Kind of weird kind of. It's been chewed, but yeah, it's like, and then what happens is they get this skin and this turns into that puffy stuff. And if you poke them at all, the spores puff out. They're really cool. I don't know how to identify that one for edibility, so we're not going to take that one. Yes, the hand, we found so many mushrooms that the handle on our bucket snapped, which was very inconvenient. <laughs> oh, and make sure you wear gloves. Oh yeah, look at these fingers. They do stain your fingers, that milky sap. So we just use some disposable gloves. But we're just walking back to the car now because we're a bit tired. We probably found three or four kilos, which is awesome. It's plenty for us.
excited for these. Earthy smells really good. Uh, cut these up. And we're just going to fry them in garlic butter. Clean them off as best I could. Will they all fit in there? Probably not. <laughs> How many mushrooms is that? Um, it wasn't many, it was only like five. Cut them a bit huge maybe. Mm. Break up some of these big ones. They smell nice. Mm. It's the garlic butter. Yeah. <laughs> you did stir them. Yeah, I'll stir them. Should have brought some bread or something. We literally don't have anything. Mm, I've got crackers I and honestly things. didn't think I was going to find this many. Should I stir them? Yeah. Oh, cool. mm. We didn't bring any pepper, did we? No. Oh, well. I meant to. Mm -hmm. turned up now? Yeah, it's hurting pretty well. You want to try? Got the juice is coming out of them. Mm. A few in there still. Heaps in there. Can I say them off? Where's my brush go? I'm eating it on a chip. We don't have any bread. Mmm. Mm. What does it taste like? Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, it's kind of like gone down a bit. It's created kind of a gravy. Mm. Yeah. Uh, I might wait a little bit. I just fried these up in some butter, garlic, and salt on the camp cooker. They're, um, they made a really nice, really saucy kind of soupy thing, which is quite nice. The texture, I'd like to cook them longer and slower, but our cooker seems to only cook on high, so. But they're, they they hold their shape, they don't sort of disintegrate, and they're very meaty. Um, they're not hugely flavorful, but they hold on to other flavors. So I put garlic and butter, so of course they still taste good. But uh, they're quite neutral. Just a mild mushroom taste. Yum. Processed all of these. I cleaned them all really well and sliced them up. And now I'm just putting them in the dehydrator. I'm going to dry all of them actually. Um, I was going to pickle some, but I uh, just ran out of time. So I'm going to just dry them until they're dry and crispy and then keep them in jars. They'll keep for ages and ages. You can either use them like that in chunks or you can make them into a powder if you like. And how long will the dehydration take? Um, probably 10 to 12 hours, depending on how thick I've cut them. So probably overnight and then maybe a few hours the next day. And is it okay that they have little bits of these green bits on them? Uh, so that's just oxidization. So when you cut these, so I actually dunked these in a, um, I dunked them in a bath of vinegar water just to stop it's like when you cut a fruit and the fruit goes brown when you cut these mushrooms they get that green colored oxidization so i just do that to prevent it otherwise they look a little bit scungy <laughs> and uh unappetizing but these ones were really clean after i washed them and everything they're like perfect this has been going for 12 hours so i'll just check it so the ones, I just swapped them over. These were on the bottom, so they're dry and snappable. So that's what you want. You want them to be as dry as that. They have a really nice mushroomy smell. And then the ones like on the bottom, these ones, see how they're still bendable and rubbery? So I'm going to put it on for another little while until these ones also get dry and snappable. And then they'll be done.